Hello, welcome to News Clip. It has been a month since the DMP formed the government in Tamil Nadu and Stalin took over as chief minister. We have with us S. Krishnaswamy of All India People's Science Network to discuss how the past one month has been with respect to the COVID-19 pandemic. He will be telling us what measures the new government has taken and whether they have been effective or not. Hello, sir. Thanks for joining us. So could you please brief us on this? What measures the DMK government has taken and how effective they have been? One month is a very short time to look at uh, implementation uh, in total, but the, uh, of course they are doing it much better than what was happening earlier. DMK government, uh, you know, luckily and uh, very sensibly, even though they have a majority, uh, they have taken on the uh, partners in their uh, ruling, uh, in the uh, coalition that uh, you know, was for the elections. So uh, decisions have been taken uh, in all party meetings or at least involving all the uh, people in different parties which have been in the uh, stake. And uh, this is a good uh, process, you know, that not uh, leaving out even the opposition, but uh, having all of them together and uh, making decisions. And uh, the uh, other thing is that it is, uh, uh, you know, unlike uh, earlier uh, scenarios, uh, one good thing that this government, uh, Stalin, has done is that uh, to provide continuity, but not changing the health secretary. The health secretary, J. Radhakrishnan, uh, was there before and uh, sensibly he was continued so that there is some continuity provided to the whole handling of the issue. And uh, the other thing uh, which has been done very well is the choice of the health minister. No, unlike uh, people's expectations, many people thought he will uh, get our doctor and so on, but he chose really a man on the ground, no, uh, Ma Subramaniam, who's uh, known to be, uh, you know, a worker who, uh, you know, does uh, work on the ground and uh, takes into account the uh, suggestions by official. Doesn't overrule them if uh, he, uh, you know, they are sensible and so on. So that way, choice of the health minister, retention of the health secretary are very good decisions that were uh, administratively done uh, in order to combat this uh, COVID. And uh, the other thing, of course, is that uh, uh, immediately on assuming uh, charge, uh, the providing this uh, 4,000 rupees, of course, the first installment of 2,000 rupees uh, to the people uh, uh, through the ration cards, uh, that is a very good move because especially during the lockdown, almost just a few days after the ministry uh, was formed and government took over, uh, lockdown was announced and uh, uh, then this lockdown has been continuing. So. During this lockdown period, at least people uh, uh, got some 2,000 rupees, uh, at least in Chennai, the rural areas are still to get. Uh, so uh, this uh, 2,000 rupees uh, will provide uh, good, uh, you know, at least money for people to uh, keep during the lockdown. And uh, subsequently, they also said the other 2,000 rupees will be given. So uh, this is a good thing. And also, uh, you know, uh, bringing in uh, uh, at this point of time, COVID-19 affected uh, children, uh, children who have been orphaned because of COVID-19, either uh, both parents or a single parent, uh, whatever thing. So they have been given good uh, uh, you know, uh, support in terms of uh, uh, you know, uh, future education as well as uh, current uh, support if they are living with uh, some uh, guardians and uh, or provide admission in the government uh, hostels. So I think these are good moves uh, that have happened. Uh, of course, writing to the central government is also been done on time, immediately almost within the first week uh, to render service. So these are good measures involving the community, involving the people in uh, fighting COVID and not uh, making it as if it's only a government uh, thing and so on. And uh, also this uh, other thing of removing the uh, uh, emblems of uh, people and having only the state government emblems and what is being distributed. I think uh, uh, also uh, gives the impression to people that it is a government, uh, it is their government or it is not some uh, particular person who is being projected. So uh, these are good measures, which uh, I think even other governments and the central government essentially should follow rather than keep you on putting uh, uh, you know, uh, pictures of uh, prime minister and everything that is being distributed, including the vaccine certificates. Yeah, so uh, that is uh, one thing. and. Uh, uh, of course, uh, also this question of, uh, you know, uh, there's been some uh, visiting of Ma Supramaniam and the health secretary to different districts uh, has also been quite good. 
they have uh, managed to see uh, visit the, all the important uh, affected districts and uh, you know, uh, come up with uh, interactions with the collector to provide uh, uh, facilities and uh, for example in Coimbatore which is the second largest uh, now uh, compared after Chennai uh, there has been uh, more uh, attention that has been paid to Coimbatore and uh, I think these are uh, this is uh, uh, to also shows that you know uh, irrespective of the party uh, uh, no uh, whether the party uh, won or lost or so uh, it has been a fairly uniform uh, 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 rendering of service providing of services, uh, government facilities to all the uh, districts and uh, places. Yeah, so overall, I think this government uh, within one month has shown real uh, good uh, measure and uh, hopefully uh, they will continue uh, the same sort of attitude and uh, performance uh, in the next coming months also. On the one hand, we see the state trying to tackle pseudoscience activities like eating snake to contain COVID or uh, the public steam in these. But on the other hand, we also see um, Siddha COVID care centers developing in the state. The state itself, the government itself is opening up these centers. So how do you see this contradiction? Point, no, that is uh, compared to the earlier situation, uh, at least uh, uh, things which are uh, definitely uh, not uh, you know, agreeable, uh, for example, the snake eating and uh, the sort of a uh, steam inhalation thing and so on. So they've come down heavily on this. And for steam inhalation, again, Masubramanam has very clearly said that all these things should not be provided uh, in uh, public places and they will only lead to increased, uh, you know, people using the same uh, mask, uh, again, uh, and all will lead to only uh, transmission of uh, infection from asymptomatic to others. And also that it is not of proven benefit and can cause harm. So uh, this has been good. Uh, the Siddha centers uh, uh, have been opened. It's uh, sort of a thing, but at least... This uh, pushing for this uh, untested uh, medication uh, has not happened so much. So, and uh, mostly the Siddha centers have been in terms of mild uh, corona uh, COVID cases and more like a, a COVID care centers. So, uh, that has been okay. And uh, I think uh, the overall uh, handling of uh, misinformation, uh, coming down on misinformation, uh, has been uh, better performance uh, within this one month than uh, earlier think uh, uh, and they also welcomed uh, uh, people coming on board to help uh, uh, fight this uh, disinformation part so for example science forum was also organized uh, with respect to uh, arivelal uh, uh, corona we will go so that's a good uh, that is using science for defeating corona and these have been uh, you know welcomed and there have been local interactions with uh, health department people and so some joint work, as I said earlier, I think uh, government has allowed uh, uh, people to uh, participate in this uh, COVID uh, management uh, uh, process rather than making it only as a party affair or as a government affair. So since day one, the new government has been writing to the central, central government in Modi, asking for several things, whether it's centers for oxygen or more recently also the mucomycosis drugs. So this has been going on and what is your take on it? I think uh, handling remediation again, uh, they have shown good uh, uh, you know, thinking by uh, bringing enough enough remediation for people and also uh, making sure that it's not uh, uh, you know, the black market part and uh, people uh, having to uh, uh, run around, that is reduced. Uh, they have provided outlets where uh, remediation can be obtained and uh, so on. And uh, uh, the uh, oxygen part, again, it is a, a complete uh, mismanagement of the center and the earlier government uh, of uh, not uh, uh, you know, foreseeing that oxygen demand and uh, making enough oxygen uh, availability uh, locally. And uh, uh, the, there was one year uh, of preparation which was completely wasted. Uh, no, uh, nothing was learned from the first wave. And uh, uh, though uh, Tamil Nadu had enough oxygen uh, uh, supply, uh, obviously it, uh, uh, the demand uh, went more than what was available. And uh, uh, now, uh, temporarily, they managed to get some amount of oxygen from other states, uh, uh, Orissa and uh, also Singh. Uh, so this is uh, one uh, thing, of course, uh, uh, in this process, uh, the uh, uh, no. Uh, Sterilite, uh, which uh, sort of uh, used this to bring on uh, their own factory, uh, 
uh, get some sort of foothold into it. Uh, they have not really been performing what they said they would perform. They're supposed to give 1050 metric uh, tons, uh, but uh, they've hardly managed to give about uh, 70 uh, tons or so far. No, and uh, so uh, this is a thing, of course. The vaccine part again, uh, uh, vaccines uh, were in short supply and uh, they managed to procure more vaccines. Uh, and uh, the other good thing is that opening up of 18 to 45 and especially targeting uh, uh, people uh, uh, like uh, auto drivers and people who are uh, more at no, uh, occupationally at risk, uh, that's a good uh, move uh, to target the 18 to 45 uh, age group. But, uh, uh, vaccines are a big problem because, uh, again, uh, uh, the population of Tamil Nadu or the population of India did not change drastically between last year and this year. So, uh, the simple arithmetic would have given the numbers of how many doses uh, should have been ordered. After April end, uh, it has become completely uh, crazy uh, by uh, asking states to buy bid on their own. Obviously, that will increase the total pricing and uh, where will the states go and uh, buy different vaccines on this? Uh, uh, no, uh, so this is just a, uh, uh, what is little not understandable is why the states have all uh, sort of fallen into this, uh, that uh, the state should have uh, you know, robustly uh, rejected, just as like, for example, they rejected the NEP part, they should have said, no, uh, it's a responsibility of the central government uh, to make the purchase of vaccines and give, and uh, you don't ask the state governments to go around purchasing and doing this. but. No, uh, at least the state governments have said that they will uh, supply the vaccine uh, free. Uh, no, but uh, this is uh, a problem. And uh, one thing that could have been uh, earlier itself is that uh, opening of the public sector to making the vaccines. Chengalpet uh, HLL, uh, which is a story in itself, uh, you know, it uh, is uh, been languishing for the past uh, almost nine years uh, after. Uh, it was started and uh, it has not produced a single vaccine, no, uh, leave alone COVID vaccine. No other vaccine has been produced. It's been uh, after a public interest litigation was put uh, in the high court, uh, they uh, started uh, manufacturing sanitizers with that. No, and this is a completely uh, ridiculous situation. No, you have uh, some nine, uh, 800 crore uh, investment with a 100 acre land, uh, which is just lying idle. Uh, and uh, the uh, people who are working there will try to get attached to uh, other places. Obviously, what should be uh, have been done in uh, January 2020 or that period itself, that HLL should have been uh, made to produce uh, these uh, in the Chengalpet facility, the integrated vaccine uh, complex. They should have been made to produce a co-vaccine uh, and the COVID sheet. No, that's uh, quite possible. And uh, even now it's possible. All that uh, the central government has to do is uh, do what the state government is uh, asking. The state government uh, has uh, very uh, rightly, uh, first they uh, try to uh, you know, have uh, uh, expression of interest uh, floated. And then they said, uh, look, you give us a lease so that uh, TITCO, which is part of the Tamil Nadu government, uh, I think can uh, industrial development corporation can uh, take over the HLL and uh, uh, I mean, make use of the HLL facilities. Intense lockdowns are continuing in the state, and more recently, district-wide wise lockdowns have been implemented. What is your take on these lockdowns, and have they been effective in containing the virus? Over the last uh, earlier time, uh, during the ADMK, it was completely the police raj. No section 144, and the police were uh, uh, you know uh, given full thing to. Uh, they were treating people like terrorists on this thing. No, but uh, at least that is not happening now. But even then. Uh, decentralization of containment is something that we still have to learn from uh, other uh, countries which have very successfully done it in New Zealand and uh, Singapore and uh, uh, South Korea uh, in China. No, uh, you cannot just have a, a total uh, uh, entire countrywide or a statewide lockdown. Uh, and that's not really very uh, meaningful also. Uh, and livelihoods have to be considered. No. Uh, you have uh, uh, people who are selling things on the street. They are the most, uh, the ones who suffer a lot. Uh, no, uh, the, they, there's no compensatory mechanism for them. Uh, 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 the earlier farmer markets are all closed down. And uh, uh, so instead of just closing them down uh, like that, and in fact, in local uh, here, 
uh, the uh, people uh, had brought vegetables from the villages to sell and uh, they were just uh, forcibly uh, thrown away no uh, vegetables were saying and they were made to take so this is a wrong way to do things no so uh, rather uh, a decentralized mechanism of course our panchayats have not been functioning no the panchayat system is completely uh, defunct without elections and so on but even then uh, it's possible administratively to empower the uh, local panchayat and the local collectors uh, so that they take a decision uh, you know sector wise or uh, local region wise rather than uh, doing it uh, state wide thank you sir thanks a lot for joining us and throwing light on this sir. Thank you.